This series of videos is going to discuss forecasting sales. So to get the data we're going to use for this particular module, we're going to go back to Cengage.com slash finance slash May slash analysis slash 9E. And with student data files, we're going to download that zip file. I have to right click on it, open it, new tab to get it to download. It's about four megabytes. And the file that we're going to use is the revenues file. I'm going to enable editing, go ahead and save that in a different folder for reference. So these are revenues from Amazon. So beginning in this first sheet, let's just quickly graph this. So if I insert window recommended chart, this one looks good, the line one. Uh, or you could do a scatter with the line. You can see that you would think with Amazon that it would be kind of just keep continuous going up, but you can see there's kind of it goes up and up, et cetera. So it's not exactly a straight line. So what we're going to do to kind of smooth this out is create something called a moving average. And that's going to help us start to figure out what exactly is going on with the sales. So in column C, I'm going to create a moving average for the year. So CMA4. And you can see that for each year, there's four data points represented for each of the quarters. So, with regards to this, I'm going to start the moving average. It's going to happen beginning in C4. And it's going to be the average of averages, if you will. So, it's going to be average. And I'm going to first take the average of the first four data points from B2 to B5. And then I'm going to take another average of it from B three to B six. The way it's set up, when I send it down, it will create our moving average line. So now I'll hit enter. And then now send this down. So 13,948 is the first one. And just doing a test, make sure we're right. In cell C14, you should have 22,619, indeed we do. So now, if I graphed or added this data to the line, so let's do an insert, recommend a chart. So I'll go back and do the scatter one again. You can see that, that it smoothed it out a little bit with the orange that's highlighted here, or the bigger dots. Um, but there's still, it's not still exactly a straight line. So there's some other things going on. So in the next video, we'll talk about seasonality.